Hello everybody, this is Steroid Unicorn here and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be doing an update video on what I've been doing on the RuneScape world or the RuneScape server that's up and coming that I've been working on for, you know, a few years, something like that. <laughs> and the first thing I want to talk about is why I can't use data packs on this server. Um, the, I did talk about it in the first video I made, uh, you know, a, a month and a half ago, something like that. Uh, that I couldn't use data packs on the server anymore. I have to use plugins because plugins are event based. So it's it's more like when it, it's almost like recoding the game in a way. So when something happens, something else will happen instead of checking every second or 20 times a second rather. Did this happen? Did this happen? Did this happen? Right. And because of that, it's way less laggy. So I can't use data packs because I have like 3,000 different function files that I'm working on and have them all running at the same time and that's way too much for any server to handle. Now I was kind of hesitant to make this video because it's not a data pack video and I know recently a lot of people have been liking my data pack videos and I plan on making more in the near future. I just, it takes time to do both those things at the same time. But anyway, right now on the RuneScape server, I'm currently working on completing all the underground structures and dungeons. Uh, I'm done the Hill Giant dungeon, I'm done the Varrock sewers, done the Draenor sewers, and I'm currently working on the Stronghold of Security, which is a massive project. Uh, it includes four different levels with many rooms. Each level is a different design, and they all have different mobs in them, different functionality different styles. I've also been working on my texture pack as you can see in this dungeon the floor is a block that I made. Not the most creative I know but I think it's pretty similar to the way it is in RuneScape uh, as you can see here is a comparison side by side and also this is what the room looked like when it was made of all obsidian which uh, <laughs> I don't think you're gonna want to walk around in this area too long. It started to give me a headache actually without any bright colors at all. Uh, so the redstone torches and the floor with the gray uh, made it a little bit more bearable. The other three floors have different styles though, so they're not going to be quite so dark. Also, updating to Minecraft 1.14 has been really interesting because they've added two new blocks that are adding a whole lot of other design choices for me. So uh, things like the campfire, uh, how you can put it out or have it burning is, is really huge because previously you would just have to have a piece of nether rack on the ground and then people would assume that that's a fireplace. And uh, also the barrels are really cool uh, because they previously have just had to use crates, which I was using a retextured note block, but uh, now I can actually use the barrels and they have a locking feature, which has always been really important to me because uh, people can exploit the game pretty easily if you have uh, chests just lying around, just open chests that they can put their items in and take them out. Uh, so being able to lock each barrel makes it so that they can't put their items in there to store, right? So uh, yeah, I think that those two features are really, really nice. But basically what I'm trying to say, guys, is that this server is a lot of work and it's something that I can't always make a video about unless you want me to show you every texture in every room that I make in the world. This is also a test to see if anyone's interested in these types of videos where I show off things that I've been working on. I'm not expecting a huge outcome because most people watch me for my data packs, but hey, it's worth a try, I guess. <laughs> And if I can actually make videos like this, then it'll be a lot easier for me because what I've been doing is basically working on data packs and then also trying to get the RuneScape world done. Uh, and I'm doing all this by myself, guys, by the way. It's not a, uh, a combined effort. I know people like, uh, like Nope Name is a, another YouTuber that I was watching. His project Zelda is uh, a huge project that he's been working on. It's the whole world of, uh, I forget which Zelda, I think it's Ocarina of Time, but he was working on that world, and uh, recently he gave up on it, which is super sad. Uh, I would have liked to see that finished, but I know he's, he's also a busy person, so that's understandable. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I just wanted to do kind of a quick update video to show you guys that I am still alive and I'm still working on things 
Um, so stick around because I'm going to be working on a couple data packs uh, in the next little while. I have quite a few plans for them. I just didn't have time to uh, to finish them to a point where I could actually make a video about them. They're kind of all in the starting stage still. But uh, yeah, so stick around for that. Make sure to leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.